So Gary Glitter then. <laughs> 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 I grew up in Kent and um, uh, kind of regarded it as a place that was uh, pretty dry culturally. There wasn't a lot to see in terms of art and there was there also, um, although I, it might have been going on without me being aware of it, there didn't seem to be a sense of people acting creatively for its own sake. Partly what's led the interest in um, arts developing in this part of the county is, um, is, is led by the idea of the turn of contemporary development um, and the fact that there's investment here in art as a mode of regeneration. I'm not seeking to get people off the street to engage with art for the first time. I want to, I want to examine interesting ideas and engage people who are already created in the area but not necessarily involved with contemporary art. I think it's more important for um, a creative community to develop and have its own dialogue. Um, and I think that in itself is infectious. I, I'm a painter and I haven't made a painting in the last three and a half months because I've been very busy trying to organise my programme. But um, I, f I find that going and meeting and talking to artists and engaging with their practice on a, um, a level that's perhaps deeper and more extensive than you would have just going and visiting a gallery and looking at a very narrow range of their work um, is extremely nourishing because the the programme that I'm working on at the moment um, stems from my own areas of interest and ideas, which are to do with translation, representation and so on. I, I don't feel like I'm losing out in any way, it's just that, it's just that there's no m material um, product at the end of it that I can say is mine. The relationship b b with the, w between the artist and, and his art or her art is um, uh, di dictated perhaps in a commercial um, situation in a, uh, by completely different factors, the need to produce lots of work and so on, if, if you're lucky enough to be in, in, in demand. And I think that when, at, at art college um, it really is about, or in my experience, it was about engaging with, with, with ideas and um, it's, very, it's very easy to, to lose that in some kind of quest to reduce your practice into something identifiable. Um, and I think uh, there's, 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 a, there's a danger in that, that what is actually valuable about art, which um, in my point of, from my point of view is uh, dialogue, is, is lost altogether. Walking up a mountain with a pea balanced on your uh, on, on the top of your head is a challenge. It doesn't make it worthwhile, does it? <laughs> is somebody, have you had the whole thing where, you, where, you, where, you, where you're eating peas and you sneeze and end up with one stuck in, 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 your, in your nasal cavity? No. That's re it's that's very a, unpleasant, that, actually. That's not a pea. It is. I'm sure. Is it? You're eating peas. Okay. You, you I'm there, I'm it's, in, it's in the nasal cavity, and it's very agitating. And eventually, you get this mucus-covered pea appearing in your mouth again. 